Welcome to New Day Cleveland. I'm Natalie Herbick and my friends, let me tell you, you are about to embark on a mouth-watering road trip. It is time to wine and dine. We have all sorts of dishes to tempt those taste buds. Plus, we are going to stop by a couple of local wineries to explore what each has to offer. Ready for some food and something to sip on? New Day Cleveland starts right now. Probably we came in right before the lunch rush here at Tina Tellas in Valley View. Jeff, the owner, is joining us this morning, and I know that you guys are known for that right there. Authentic, fresh baked Italian bread baked daily. It's our Italian sub. So the Italian sub is the biggest seller you probably have. Absolutely. How many of these do you think you guys go through a day? 60, 80 to 100 sometimes. Are you serious? Yes. You just get people in from the area on their lunch break saying, "Hey, got to get that sub." Yep, 90% of people on their lunch breaks. So I need to know what this is all about, why people go nuts over this stuff. So first of all, again, it's the fresh bread. Is it every day baked fresh daily? Every day. Okay, so we begin with the bread. Okay. Now let's let's put this baby together. All right, so I've got the bread. Italian dressing. Lettuce. So it's traditional, right? I mean, as far Absolutely. as what we expect on an Italian it's sub. The, it's the traditional Italian sub, yes. Three <laughs> types of meat, mortadella, then there goes the hot ham. So it's this, you have a quaint little spot here. So I'm sure, I mean, that door is a revolving door. I mean, we're, it is. people come in, they get out. It is, quickly. This looks so good, salami on the top. Yep, salami on top. And then, of course, Italian sub wouldn't be an Italian sub without the roasted red peppers. And you know what, I miss those my whole, I don't remember those being on my Italian subs I had, which, what no? was I thinking? Well, that's, that's, and what were they thinking at these other places <laughs> I was going to? That's very important on an Italian sub. You can't have an Italian sub without Italian, without the roasted red peppers. And then, Rebelo? of course, provolone cheese, and then this. This okay. is muffalata dressing. All right. It's an olive spread. It's ground up olives, like an olive relish. Oh man. So is this for one person or two? This is one person. I would say one so. That's what I was thinking. All. That's my kind of sub right there. <laughs> so you can you know, you'll wrap that baby up. You have a lot of people that come through these doors. But it's not just the subs, the Italian subs that draw people in, right? You have a lot more here. Yeah, we every Tuesday and Thursday we have a pasta special. It's rigatoni with homemade meatballs, homemade fresh baked bread, homemade um, sauce. It comes with cheese for $7.99, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays, Thursdays, $7.99. Yeah. You can't beat a deal like that. No, it's a great deal. So here's the thing. Tina, your manager, has been here for quite some time. Awesome. Ten years like or a, so? Like a decade, Like Tina. a decade. Well, you know what? we got to just talk to Tina real quick about what else <laughs> they have here at Tina Tellus. Yeah, let's get Tina in here. <laughs> so Jeff just said this place would not be the same without the women that work back here. And Tina, and you've been here how many years as a manager? Nine years. Nine years. Yes. And. Clearly you know when people come in for Yes, they love those subs, but you have so much more here. Pizza was ready to go when we walked in the door. What time do you start the pizza slices? 10 o'clock. Can you, can you just can buy it by the slice, or can you buy more than a slice at once? Oh, oh yeah, uh, we have a special two slices in a 20 ounce drink for $7.50. You could buy one slice, you could buy a sheet. As many you as could you buy want. Whatever you want. You probably have groups that come in sometimes, so like, okay, we need that We need that mm -hmm. tray right we there. We do. <laughs> So the pizza's big, then I, I walked in, I saw the stuffed the peppers, peppers, and I have a feeling those are a huge hit too. Yeah, that's huge. The peppers are huge. So there's peppers, stuffed peppers in there. What else do you normally serve? I see the pasta salad. I mean, it's everything you would f think you'd find in an Italian deli. Yes, we have eggplant, two kinds, breaded and grilled, um, tuna salad, chicken salad. Everything is homemade, fresh. We make it daily. And I saw there was a lovely little lady back there. She didn't work on camera. No, but Isabel. She, Isabel was adorable, ma doing the handmade, or homemade, I should say, meatballs. Meatballs, yes. So the meatball subs have to be a big Oh, yeah, too. they're pretty big, too. Most, uh, all of our subs are big. They're, they're a hit. People no, can't, yeah, what? they come in, they don't know, you know, so sometimes they'll ask, you know, what should I get today? So, Well, I'll you tell know. you, we're, I, it's almost, let me tell you, it is. 1120 right now which means people are already starting to flood through this place so i'm yes. going to let you get back to work okay i'm going to remind everybody granger road come and visit dina tellas here thank you i need three italian subs for the crew okay okay awesome we can't leave without them and maybe some peppers and maybe some meatballs <laughs> okay whatever you want we could do thank you so much thank for having you. 
from Valley View to a Massillon institution. This story starts way back when with bite-sized chocolates and milkshakes. And now you'll also find classic diner favorites. This is the Sugar Bowl. <laughs> The Sugar Bowl is a Masson institution, first of all. It is a diner-type restaurant that began in 1902, and it was a family that moved here from Europe. Um, it, it was here from 1902 to 1989. It was closed for 30 years, and for some reason, I decided to reopen it, and we had to do a lot of reconstruction and we put it back the way I remembered it from the 1970s. So as you see, the candy cases are back where I remember them being, the kitchen is back where I remember it being. The Sugar Bowl is famous for tempting your taste buds, pleasing your palate, and just giving you something great to eat every time you come here. We do butter on our french fries. Everything is, is homemade, nothing is ever frozen. We also do a, a fabulous line of grilled foods, homemade soups every day, flavored, old-fashioned flavored Cokes. We do lots of stuff. 18 flavors of ice creams, malts, everything you can possibly think of from an old-fashioned diner. It's a place where people remember coming, sharing a memory, sharing a soda, sharing a malt, sharing a burger. Our, our biggest sandwich memory is what we call our grilled cheese cheeseburger. It's about this high. It's two grilled cheese sandwiches on Texas toast with a half pound burger in between. And it's served with a mound of our fresh cut fries with melted butter on them. It's a meal. It's like a memory. You know, the older people that come in here, the seniors, remember the Sugar Bowl from their childhood. I remember it from my childhood growing up in the 60s and 70s. We get people coming in here that look at our, our pictures on the walls from the 1946, this picture over here is, and people come in and say, that's my grandmother, she worked here, or that's my mom, she worked here. And I remember sitting at the, at the lunch counter and ha sharing a soda with my boyfriend or, uh, or carving my name in the booths in the back of the restaurant. It's, it's just an old fashioned memory that people like. We've got back some of the original Sugar Bowl candy formulas. Most of them were lost. There are about 130 different varieties at any given point. We change them seasonally, we change them weekly. Some of the main staples here are our, our peanut butter buckeyes that are done in milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and white chocolate. We make our own white chocolate. Many people who say they don't, they don't care for white chocolate haven't tasted ours. So once they taste it, they say, oh, I'll have a pound of that. You want to walk around and see our outdoor patios, our, our old fashioned booth area from 1902. You just got to try it all. You know, don't ever walk out of here without trying something. And go, always go home with some chocolate. It's, it's the way to go. The Sugar Bowl is located in Massillon. It is right on Lincoln Way East. Still to come, the heat is on. It is fast fired pizza in Chagrin Falls. Welcome back to New Day Cleveland, an hour of winding and dining our way across Northeast Ohio. Our next stop is in Chagrin Falls for pizza. Sounds delicious, right? Well, this is E Italian. E Italian is uh, a Naples style uh, pizzeria that we have here in Chagrin Falls. And really our whole focus is our pizza. So it's all about the dough. So it all starts with that process from the ingredients we use, how the technique of it happens to get into our Naples style oven, a Nakuto oven that was made in uh, Naples, Italy. The Naples style traditionally is a Neapolitan style pizza um, where it has certain conditions that you need. You use four ingredients in your dough 
that is the uh, double O Caputo flour, salt, yeast, and water. So we keep all those same principles, and it's kind of less is more. So you, you're, it's, you don't have as much sauce as your typical pizza, um, or as many as, as ingredients, it's just focusing on freshness. We're all about our dough. So here at Italian, it's, it all starts with our dough, that is our foundation. So we use the finest flour, and the process it takes to, for you to have a pizza today all started yesterday. We're cooking at 800 degrees. You get what's called leopard spots. So those leopard spots is really gives the, the dough a lot of flavor characteristic from our wood-burning oven. So you're getting a little bit of flavor from the wood itself. We have our traditional pizzas like the margarita, the pepperoni, the sausage, but then we have a couple fun ones like we have our spinach bacon and artichoke which is a white pizza um, and things like that. We have a normal white pizza with fresh tomatoes on there, basil. Uh, so you know, you could definitely come in here for a classic pizza or there's some different things to experiment with as well. One of the cool things we do is like we make fresh bread every single day from our dough and we have our cheesy bread which is stuffed with cheese which you can also customize like with toppings in it which a lot of people do and you can dip that in our pizza sauce. We make our own gluten free dough. So that's definitely been huge for us. I mean we take extreme caution with that, we make it ourselves. You know, we cook it on its own trays so it's not, you know, getting contaminated with a, yeah, a flour and things like that. We have our gelato, which can be served on its own or which we like to call uh, congelato, which means served in bread. So that's also with our fresh bread where you can put the actual gelato in there. We also have cannolis. There's a lot of history with this building and it's kind of been sitting here for quite some time. But it all started off as a blacksmith in the late 1800s. And that kind of history brings down, I feel like it's a perfect fit for a pizza shop to be in here, to think about what a blacksmith used to do compared to a pizza shop, using a lot of kind of the similar tools, high heat and things like that. So it kind of brings back that old concept of the building, the history of the building, the location of the building, and finally us, you know, coming up with a great product for pizza. We really, if you're in the area and you're moved for pizza, we want you to come here. You know, that's what we focus on, that's what we do, and that's what we're delivering. Make sure you check those hours before you head out the door. Italian is open for dinner only most days of the week. All right, how about something to wash down that pizza? Well, you can sip on a glass of fine wine at Gideon Owen. Gideon Owen is a historic winery. We've got a restaurant with outdoor dining as well, outdoor bar, and then we also have event space, weddings, banquets, uh, corporate events, those sort of things. So it's really this beautiful facility where you can come and enjoy history and nature. Amazingly, most people do not know the history of this place. Massive cellars, there's uh, two different levels of them. So there's a cellar and then there's a sub-basement. In 1872, these were built. And we haven't found too many places in, in the whole Midwest or the East Coast uh, where there's this historic cellars. Early, it was, it was just a winery and it was a big giant rectangular room, Catawba stone exterior and Catawba stone interior actually. So they made wine here. In the 1930s, Mon Ami purchased the building and uh, they, it became a champagne house. So it was a champagne house until the 1980s and then pretty much ceased any kind of real wine making and, and you know, became uh, really a restaurant at that point. So there's a lot of history, the facility is beautiful, the grounds are beautiful, the food is really, really good. We spent a lot of time trying to get a menu that would be open to a lot of people. And that's what we try to do and I think we did a very good job. And it's just a wonderful place to hang out, family friendly. We have about three or four places that handle the big family groups, but then we have a lot of private event spaces that they could, they could actually get a section of the building.
the big deal about this area in the 1870s to late 1890s, the Airy Islands in Sandusky was the, uh, America's original Napa Valley. There are more vineyards and wineries here than anywhere in the country. We have Pinot Gris, we have Chardonnay, we have Riesling, we have Vidal Blanc, uh, and those are primarily the whites that we're, we're growing. So we also have uh, Pinot Noir, Cab Franc, uh, Chamberson is a red, Marquette is a red, and we'll probably add to that basket of varietals. We're getting a lot of uh, thank you from the community. Don and I always joke, we're just the curators now, right? Uh, uh, somebody also have this, and, and so we're just building on a building block sort of thing. And people are very, very happy that we've restored it, we've put money into it. Uh, we're, we're bringing back the winery aspect of it. The true story is that uh, the former owner, we went out to dinner, you know, we were drinking wine. We drank a lot of wine, I'll be honest. And the next morning I woke up and it was a bit like the Hangover movie. I was passed out. I had the bill of receipt in my hand. I had a tooth missing and there was a tiger in the bathroom and I just, it was a, that's what happened. Gideon Owen is located on Catawba Island. Your GPS might say poor Clinton, so keep that in mind. The winery, though, is closed on Mondays. Still to come, sizzling cheesesteaks hot off the grill. are whining and dining our way across Northeast Ohio and it's time for some hoagies and cheesesteaks. We're heading to Medina. One of the things we like to tell people about the original steaks and hoagies is the way you're supposed to eat a cheesesteak is the way we're going to make it. So if you're from Philadelphia, you're going to come in here and get a taste of home. If you're from Cleveland, you're going to have something you've really never had. We want them to feel uh, like they're walking into an upscale sandwich shop. It's the atmosphere where you can sit down, have a beer, have a cheesesteak. It's definitely a whole nother uh, sandwich stop style than anything I've ever seen. Our cheesesteaks are made Amarosa rolls, hand shaved ribeye. Uh, most popular cheesesteak that we sell is called the original cheesesteak. Comes with mushroom, onion, sweet pepper, hot pepper. By far our best cheesesteak. And you can kind of take anything off of it that you don't like. So if you're like, hey, I want that same cheesesteak, but I don't like mushrooms. No problem, we just take that right off there and, and make it the way you want it. We want to show you what a real cheesesteak is supposed to taste like. You know, it's not supposed to be a, a frozen steak -um on top with some mayonnaise and lettuce. We want to show you the real deal authentic cheesesteak. Any cheesesteak that we make can be made in a bowl. But we also do wraps, you know, we also do cold subs, we also do chicken tenders that are hand battered for kids, for adults. We do a fresh cut fry, we do a beer battered fry, we do a, a beer battered onion ring. Uh, but our number one selling side are our Wizzy Tots. Sounds crazy, but they are handmade tater tots filled with cheese Whiz. Uh, we have five different flavors of them, and they are by far amazing. I call them fluffy pillows. We do have one cheesesteak. Uh, we call I call it the granddaddy. Uh, it is the hangover. So it actually is a cheesesteak made with hot sauce, hot peppers, onions, cheese Whiz. On top, we actually put two over easy eggs on top and then garnish it again with cheese Whiz, bacon, and hot sauce. It is a... Uh, it's a Cleveland dream after a terrible Browns game. We started with the original Steaks and Hoagies. Uh, we met a gentleman, his name was Billy from Philly. True story, that is actually his real name. Uh, he had a store in Twinsburg, Ohio that started in 2010. Eventually he was pretty much to the point where he was like, look, I just, I'm done, I'm moving back to Philly. So we jumped on that opportunity, bought that one store in Twinsburg. Uh, then we opened up our next store in Fairlawn. And then we opened in Lorraine, Ohio, Medina County over here in Medina, which is our main store, our Taj Mahal, we like to say. Uh, and then now we have the food truck. I think the most important thing about our business is that we enjoy what we do. I can't tell you how many times a day someone will be like, that is the best sandwich I've ever had. So just for us, I, I love that instant gratification. I, I love knowing that what we're doing is making people happy. We 
we visited Original Steak and Hoagies in Medina, but there are a couple of locations in our area, so the best way to find out the one closest to you is to visit their website. All right, we can't forget about dessert. How about bringing home a variety of gourmet chocolates? White House Chocolates is our family-owned business that we're here in Burton, Ohio, and we've been here since 1997. We wanted a business that my husband Ken could retire into, and that was also a place that was good for raising the kids. We homeschooled our kids, so they grew up in the business also. So it was kind of a package deal. We make about 80% of our candy here. The chocolates, we have everything from clusters in milk, dark, and white chocolate, nuts, fruit, to um, we have truffles, we have creams, we have jellies, um, turtles, pretzels of all kinds. So we have a lot of novelties that you don't find in other chocolate shops. For the truffles, we generally have your basics, chocolate, raspberry, strawberry. Holidays, we'll go into pumpkin or rum. Those are the two most popular. And we will do lemon, orange. The flavors that are on the counter all the time are the chocolates, the peanut butters, the maples, uh, chocolate vanilla, mint, and amaretto. And then we have other flavors that we rotate in and out. Our chocolate is real chocolate. Um, with the white chocolate, a lot of times you will get what you can melt at home, which has vegetable oil added so that it's um, more easily worked with. But here we have the real white chocolate. And in the white chocolate, we have cashews, almonds, and a cranberry almond. Um, choc white chocolate is not the most popular, but it definitely has a following. We also do peanut butter cups, Buckeyes. Uh, we do coconut bars. So there's really a wide range of what we do in our chocolates. Ice cream, the flavors rotate throughout the year. We have 12 flavors at a time in our dipping cabinet. And then we also have pre-packed pints that people can purchase and take home. There. When you go back to the kitchen, you're going to see them making Buckeyes. Uh, the way to tell if a Buckeye is handmade is there's a hole where the toothpick has gone into the top. They'll also be uh, making cordial cherries. Then they make um, nonpareils for the holidays, which will be your fall colors. They'll also be doing a molded piece that we call our, our apple cinnamon truffle. So um, it's a variety of activities. The name comes from the fact that uh, when my husband, who grew up in the area, uh, went to, to school here, people would say, oh yeah, I live two houses past the Big White House. So this was like a little landmark and always referred to as the Big White House. My role has changed. In the beginning, I was back there with the candy makers. Up here in the retail, I think my favorite part are my employees and the customers. They, uh, they're what make it work and they make it fun. We have the best chocolate, so if you're a chocolate lover, this is a must stop. White House Chocolates is located in Middlefield, and still to come, a taste of Italy in the suburbs. We are heading to the market. Well, you can grab a bottle of wine and something to dine on at our next stop. It's in Broadview Heights. Check out Molisana Italian Foods. Molisana Italian Foods is a little grocery store which likes to do the taste of the old world from Italy into the palate of the American taste. We like to select the most authentic Italian products available from Italy. We have a huge selection of olive oils, 
directly from different regions of Italy. These are the top oils made from olive trees from Italy. We have a very good selection of dry pasta. What would be an Italian store without a good selection of a dry pasta? We think we have the top quality pastas that have come in to the States. Then we have a whole huge selection of cheeses. The Parmigiano Reggiano, the number one cheese in the whole world that is, comes in in big 80 pound forms. And that cheese is aged about 20 months. We have the other, the sharp provolone for just sitting around the table and enjoying a sharp piece, tasty, flavorful cheese with a good bottle of vino. Then we have a huge selection of deli meats. We have a very fast menu with different sandwiches. Prosciutto and fresh mozzarella. Mortatella with roasted peppers. Uh, and we have a whole list of where they could choose from. We also have a nice homemade selection of cookies the old traditional biscottis, which is made by my wife and the associates that help me all day, and that's done fresh every single week. But the most important part of this establishment is the pizzas. The pizzas, we can't keep enough made because it's made fresh every day, it started fresh every day with making of the dough by us every morning. The tomatoes, San Marzano tomatoes, the Italian plump tomatoes, that's what makes this pizza. We sprinkle a little bit of grated Romano cheese or Parmigiano cheese. Upon request, we will put pepperoni, cheeses, the traditional shredded mozzarella. We also do a ricotta and spinach. I call it a Popeye pizza. Thanks for coming in. I have a passion for food, and this is what we have done for 29 years in this side of Cleveland. And I am happy, and I will continue to bring this novelty and these latest type of foods to the customer base and to new customers that come in with my heart to my customers' table. Buon appetito. Grazie. Arrivederci. Molasana Italian Foods is on Broadview Road in Broadview Heights. Save him for more because you can follow up dinner with a wine slushie and a cheesecake flight. Just two of the many reasons to visit Rosabella Winery. Rosabella Winery is a place to come and just relax and have fun and enjoy good wine. We started it last year, we opened in June. We love wine, so we really wanted to, we, we started going to wineries all over. We'd go on vacation, we'd go to wineries, we'd just find places to go. So we just fell in love with visiting the wineries and we wanted to start our own winery. So we, one day we just said, let's do it, and we started looking for a property. When we found this place, we knew it was the place to be. We make a variety of wines really to satisfy almost every palate. We have some dry whites, we have a Chardonnay, a Pinot Grigio, uh, we have a semi-sweet Riesling. We also have what's called the Happy Couple. It is our most popular sweet wine, if not our most popular wine overall. It's a sweet white blend and it's got kiwi and pear flavors to it. People love it once they try it. And then our other white is our Zoom Zoom Peach, which is a sweet peach Chardonnay. It's just like drinking a peach. We actually named it after our dog, Charlie, because he loves to go for a car ride, so we say, do you want to go for a Zoom Zoom? And he goes nuts. So that's why we called it Zoom Zoom Peach. As far as reds go, we have three dry reds, our Cabernet Sauvignon, our Merlot, and our Zinfandel. It's a dry red Zin, which there's not many that are available in this area. It's popular. Our Cab is probably our most popular dry red. We have an Everything Family, which is a really nice, semi-sweet red blend. It's a good table wine, eat, you know, pair it with a pizza, 
some spaghetti. And then we have our tail wagging blackberry, which again is named after our dog, Charlie. <laughs> and um, it's a really sweet blackberry Merlot. It's got a tremendous blackberry flavor to it. And then uh, we just released our newest wine, which is Casper. It's a ghost pepper infused Moscato. It's sweet with a ghost of heat to it. You can do tastings, you can do flights, you can buy it by the glass or the bottle, you can take home a case. <laughs> we really want people to try the wines because it's hard to just say, give me a bottle of something without trying it. The two new items that we added this year is the, the cheesecake flights and then uh, on the wine side is the wine floats. We were looking for an appetizer to provide and we wanted some kind of dessert, so we thought something with cheesecake. So we played around with a bunch of stuff, came up with this idea. We have four individual cheesecakes. One is gonna be raspberry sauce, the next is gonna be chocolate, then it's gonna be strawberry, and then caramel sauce. It's kind of surreal sometimes, especially when we first started it, and now it's like sometimes it's on a busy day, you know, we're running around and it's busy, but then like I'll step back and I'll be like, wow, I cannot believe that this is, you know, happening. Like this is what we wanted to, you know, do and people are enjoying themselves, they're having a good time, they're liking the wine, they're liking the food. So it's been really rewarding. Rosabella Winery is in Austinburg, easy to get to from I-90. More wine and dining coming up after this, including a spot that I discovered on the east side. I have two words for you, experiential dining. Wait until you see this place. I'm here with Logan Abbey. He happens to be the executive chef at The Last Page in Pinecrest, one of the newest additions here, but it is a must stop. I love your concept here. It's very different than what you would find at a lot of places. Yeah, it's a, you know, we take a menu, we do an international style flair on a shareable style menu, meaning like, you can be doing a celebratory feasting style dining with your group of friends, family, whatever, to meet you know all sorts of levels of dining, whether you're celebrating or you're just trying to like have a nice night out with the family. And I love the whole concept. First of all, it's tucked away here in Pinecrest. And when you walk in, you really have created this almost theater-like atmosphere. You you have that the green room in the, in the beginning here, where if you're waiting for your table, you can just stop and get a drink at the bar. Yeah, so like I like to call it the hidden gem of Pinecrest because walking from the mall, we kind of tucked away in the back here, but once you see it, you're like, oh, what's that over there? You know, nicely lit creates that like stage style presence of the theater, if you will. We're sitting in the theater, the beautiful bars behind us, and the stars are the drinks and the food. Oh, That's for course. sure, right? And when it comes to food, I know one of your favorite dishes to make, and one of the most popular is the pork chop. Yeah, the Ohio Heritage Pork Chop featuring three Ohio ingredients, uh, honey crisp apples from Bowman Orchards, uh, 12 ounce boneless pork chop and a nice barbecue style spice, and then Ohio maple syrup and a Ohio maple, uh, maple demi-glaze. What else would you like to make for us today besides that beautiful dish? Uh, today we'll do our fall salad featuring Brussels sprouts radicchio, uh, apple soubise, as well as our gaucho style carrots, which are grilled carrots on a carrot puree and fresh herbs. And what, again, when I'm thinking about the food and I'm thinking about sitting here and dining in this atmosphere, I, love, I like what you mentioned, that you can come here for some kind of special event, but you can also come here to have a relaxing meal with, with your kids. Yeah, it's so multifaceted. You can see different styles of seating around the restaurant. We don't have to be like, you know, private style where you're all by yourself. It has a really nice, like warm, homey atmosphere, but also super elevated at the same time. Elevated is a great word. The ambiance here is special, even the bathroom. I mean, when you walk back into the room, tell me the bathrooms aren't so cool. Our bathrooms are pretty high end and I love them. <laughs> Each bathroom looks different. The hallway's beautiful. I mean, if you don't come in here just to get a drink and look at the ambiance, you're missing out. But the food is what we have to be talking about first and the drinks. Can, do you mind if I go find Joshua and I sit up with the bar and we're gonna pair that beautiful pork chop dish Absolutely. with a good drink I hear. All right, let's go. 
so I happened to find Joshua here at the bar. It was a smoky bar a second ago. It's so good to see you and meet you. Thank you very much. You yes. are the man who creates incredible cocktails here, and I heard you have the perfect cocktail to pair with this beautiful pork chop dish. We do, yes. So uh, chefs have created this amazing Ohio, Ohio heritage pork chop that utilizes three separate ingredients, all from Ohio, the apples, the maple syrup, and also the pork. And then I've taken basically the same exact apples that chefs are cooking and created an apple sour that we're also gonna add a little bit of smoke to. Okay. Um, we're using aquafaba, kind of like the veganist egg white, if you will, uh, to create this beautiful foam on top that will carry that smoke flavor all the way through the cocktail. All right, let's and do this. And so we're going to unleash the, <gasps> this beast right now. We're actually using apple wood to smoke uh, the aquafaba as well. And then I'm just gonna finish this with a little bit of cinnamon. And uh, this cocktail is- Is ready to go? Yes, ma'am, please. I have to do the combo. I have yes, to try. Yes, you do, yes, you do. Because you and know I cannot leave this restaurant without trying this. But this but pairing this should be phenomenal. Best pork chop I've ever tasted in my life. Mm. <laughs> That is delicious. This isn't normally my type of drink. I'd be afraid of it normally. This is superb. I'm so glad you're happy with wow. it. Wow. That well, is an like incredible Like I said, the pairing. same ingredients, yeah, the same ingredients that chefs are using for the apples are, are within the drink as well. And then we've also utilized two Ohio uh, spirits. Uh, so now there's five actual ingredients uh, from Ohio. We wanted to you know, pay homage to where we are and I feel like it's such a great pairing. I love it. So brunch on Sundays and then dinner the rest of the week, except you're closed on Mondays. We are closed on Mondays, but after that, uh, we're open at 3 p.m. every single day, uh, all the way until uh, 10 p.m. during the week and 11 on Friday and Saturday. And again, they're tucked away right here in Pinecrest. You have to come and visit it. Just look for the signs out front, the letters TLP, the last page. I Come see us. To this. I started with this drink, so cheers to oh, you with that one. Cheers. It's brunch time. <laughs> it's brunch time somewhere. From there, we head to Sheffield Lake for a cafe that is packed with flavors from the islands. Give it the flavor. The name of the establishment is Caribe Soul Cafe, and we're more of a coffee shop and we specialize in empanadas, some people call them pastelillos. My passion comes from my abuelita. My abuelita Juana Torres, inspiration not only to myself, but to my whole family, we're a big family. And um, every time, I was born in New Jersey, I'm from Jersey, but we always go back home to Puerto Rico. And uh, anytime we would come home, she always had, you know, food, a pot on the stove, ready for us to eat. I wanted to serve the community. We needed something in this community in Sheffield Lake. We needed something more authentic, traditional. So it's a passion that I've had. So this is the beef pastelillo and chicken pastelillo. Or you, one part of the island call it pastelillos, the other part of the island call it empanadas. And this is our sauce that we make in-house here. The guava sauce is uh, like, it's a sweet and savory sauce. And we make it in-house. Of course, we can't give you all those secrets. <laughs> We make different types of rice, so we'll make the rice, white rice with red beans and a jerk chicken. Then we'll make un arroz mampoteado, and arroz mampoteado has more meat, you know, like ham, bacon, um, maduro, which is sweet plantain. Um, then we make al arroz con gandules, which is a traditional dish uh, of uh, Puerto Rico. The special of the day always consists of a rice dish. On Wednesday, we try to do the pork, you know, where we serve serve either riblets and a barbecue guava sauce that we make in-house, or on Thursdays we make uh, jerk chicken, which is kind of a little spice, and, um, or chicken fricasse, you know? So we got like a modern, traditional style here. Our coffee comes straight from the island. I, I go straight to the country in Lares, Puerto Rico to get our coffee. It's creamy. 
delicious, fresh. When you try this coffee, you're gonna be like, yes, this is what I want. The people, the food, I enjoy cooking, I enjoy serving, I enjoy meeting different people. The vibe is very entertaining. We're here to serve, so you're gonna be treated right. The vibe is always good here. Caribe Soul Cafe is located on Lake Road in Sheffield Lake. Now when we return, we are toasting to our final stop in Huron County. time for one more stop today. We are heading west to Huron County to sip on something special at Vermilion Valley Vineyards. Vermilion Valley Vineyards is a small estate grown winery just south of the city of Vermilion. We sit about seven and a half miles off of the lake. We started in 2009. Uh, we wanted to create a, uh, a rural farm in the countryside focused 100% on a state grown fruit, meaning everything that we produce comes right off of our property. We specialize in classic European varieties like Cabernet, and Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Pinot Gris, all the names that we know and love. 100% estate bottled, that means everything from the ground to the finished glass happens right here on site. Vermilion Valley Vineyards is a 24-acre parcel set within the Vermilion River watershed. So we're not in Vermilion and we're not in a valley. However, uh, we get our name from uh, our sustainable-focused uh, sustainable uh, mindset within our vineyard. Whenever you drive up the driveway, you see 16 acres of vineyard. Uh, you will see weeds, you will see fungi, you will see insects, but it's part of, all a part of our sustainable approach. Uh, we are not a curated, uh, uh, you know, maintained golf course, uh, country club type mentality. This is a rural farm in the countryside, and that's what you get. Our tasting room here seats roughly 75 people inside, uh, overlooking an acre and a half pond. It's part of our mission, sustainability, growing quality wines, but it's really also to provide a, uh, an atmosphere for our customers. Uh, where you can come on, on your day off or, or over the weekend with friends and family and uh, with knowledgeable staff behind the bar and really be able to kick your feet up and just relax. You know, nothing's too stuffy. Wine, wine can become very pretentious. And although we take the production of our wine very seriously and uh, we approach wine in a very sophisticated manner through the production aspect of everything, uh, we want to make sure that wine is a, is a casual experience for people. Many different varieties. Uh, some of the names that we know and love like Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Pinot Noir, Pinot Grigio, Chardonnay, and some names that are a little bit more obscure that we're a little less familiar with. Muscat Atenel, Moscato Giallo, Rabola Jala, uh, Gewürz Traminer. Cabernet Franc is our heart and soul. Uh, Cabernet Franc uh, is at the base of everything that we do, what we're most recognized for. It's uh, our number one seller year after year. Sweeter wines, we go into, uh, say, late harvest Riesling. So a late harvest Riesling where we're allowing the fruit to hang on the vine until middle to end of November, and uh, even ice wines. You'll likely see myself and my wife, Christy, and the, uh, the mascot, Gordy Juniper, the, uh, the little 30-pound Brittany, it's running around, he's a good field dog. He's a good tasting room dog as well. So long as I'm here at the tasting room and we're surrounded by wine, uh, it's an easy conversation to have because we all have something in common. I get to work day in and day out alongside my wife, you know, close to 100 hours a week. And uh, you know, being able to uh, you know, conduct myself in a family-like atmosphere day in and day out is, is a beautiful thing. Everybody that walks through the door, we all have a common bond, and that is wine. Don't let the name confuse you, Vermilion Valley Vineyards is located in Wakeman. And that is going to do it for today's show. We hope you've enjoyed this tasty experience all across our area. The list of featured markets and restaurants, 
and wineries is on our website at fox8.com. And as always, we want to hear from you. So tell us about great spots that you've discovered. You may even help us plan our next road trip. I'm Natalie Herbick, and I'll see you on the next New Day Cleveland.